Okay, so here's the whole rear window assembly. You have to pull this whole thing out of the car. I just took the last two screws out of the side of this. So pull this apart. I'm going to have to go through and clean all this. And then I'm going to have to take the motor out. Probably work over the motor. I'm going to put some power to it because I don't know that it had power in the car for sure. Put some power to it if that don't work. We'll take off this assembly here. Take it out of the gearbox here. And then we'll take this motor and clean it. And a lot of the time what I do is I just put a power drill on the end that comes out of the motor, the little output shaft. I put a drill on there and just run it fast for like a few minutes. Just let it run and it kind of knocks all the crap out of it. And a lot of time that will revive your old motors. And then this, I'm going to have to get a tool out, like some kind of brush or something on my Dremel. And clean all the old dried up grease out of here. Then get this down to this end, clean up the other end of the channel, and put new grease in it. So I'm going to start tearing this thing down. And we'll do some more video as we go. Okay, so I live in a camper, so I have easy access to 12 volt power. These are actually my extra leads off of my big power inverter that can run my whole trailer. And what I found out here is it's not the motor. It was something in the car with the switch not working. Let's see if we can get this going here. Can't keep it in place and stick the thing in there because... I'm one hand in it this one's actually cable drive and it works perfect so we got to figure out where our problem is in the car while I have this out I'm gonna clean it all up good wash it all up grease it everything else then we'll get her put back in so luckily this was a quick fix now I just got to put the other housing cover on here and all I really wanted which I got to do close the other side a little bit. All I really want is this over here all the way so I can put the windows in, have the glass in there, and have them shut so that I keep the weather out of my car because all this rain is not good for inside my car. So tomorrow we'll get this uh, reinstalled, but I'm glad to see that it was just a problem with the switches in my car, which are a big deal. They're super expensive, and I'm going to modify some switches out of my 84 Mercury to redo the switches in it. So thanks for tuning in. This is a nice short little video. Appreciate you all watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.